<laughs> I want to. What subjects on the TikTok bill law is it that you want to talk about? Because as I was saying off camera, before we were rudely told, I want to. I want to talk about the ban itself, um, and and why it's so, I guess, supposedly important to, to, to do. So but, I mean, what I was what I was saying before we before I shut you all the fuck up because I wanted to talk about it on podcast is that. You know, because you were like, oh, man, you know, it's just an app and it's, you know, people are scared that they're getting data from us only for developers went down deep into the code and dissected the TikTok code. code. And they were like, no, it's like pulling everything. It's pulling stuff from your clipboard. It's pulling screenshots, password. Like, so would you, would you hold down the button and copy a word and it saves your clipboard? It's pulling that information into TikTok and then sending that in. And it had live access to your camera at any time. And then still does. The worst part about it is that they were like, "Oh, well, we're not giving it to the CCCP, CCCCCP, CCCCCCP." Um, Chinese only... intelligence agency. Yeah. Why are we saying it three times fast? He was giving me shit for it the other day. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a bash. <laughs> but uh, he, uh, I mean, they got caught straight up sending the data to them because they are a Chinese company and poor her. Or, or per or, Chinese co- policy, any company is required to give all their data to the all government. All their information, not yeah. even just data. Data and information. So what, what I wanted to really talk about, okay, so it, it, it has been passed to ban it in the United States at, at the level of the Senate. It's on the desk of, of our President Biden for Biden to sign it uh into action make it law um but the most ironic thing about this is that the company that owns tiktok is called bite dance but which is a chinese company but do you want to know the first place that banned tiktok china mainland china yeah you know it's also interesting most of the social media apps we have here they have banned yeah. China does too. They've banned most of the apps that are right. social media. To, to the point to where they, they don't have Facebook, Instagram, legally have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they, all that stuff. They do, they do, um, what's it called when they trawl through the data? I know they inspect. Data, data trawlers. Automatic data trawlers. I don't know. There's, there's an actual turn of phrase for it. Trawling. Um, no. Um, they information gather. And and if they find out that a Chinese citizen who's in a different country so much as liked something, like a post that was against China, they will show up at their door, like, in Australia, and fucking, you know, threaten their family, all sorts of shit. And now you have to go to a re-education camp. And I'm not making this up. You can look this information up and you can see that this has actually happened. That's crazy. Another fascinating thing is that they were doing they had as part of their streams, they they targeted kids and as part of their their cycle of videos for TikTok, they would be like oh, they would have videos pop up that be like, democracy is bad. Yep. Capitalism is bad. Um... China is good. Here is why China is good. Right. Specifically targeting children. So we we have that in China. But the most interesting part, China isn't the sole proprietor of the company. No. They have 51% ownership. And we have European countries that owned it. Part of American companies owned it. So all these different companies have ownership into it at the time of inception. Right. When it was made. So we have all this collection of data of everyone willingly sharing because the moment you put on social media, you no longer own it. Right. That's the contract you sign, intentional, unintentional, signing your email, putting a password, making an account. So China's not the only one that has information on it. The craziest part of this whole thing, them having access to your camera at any time. Realistically, if you've ever had TikTok on any device, they have mapped out your house and your whereabouts of what you normally do on a daily basis. That's why you delete it and then change it all up. Or, or hear me out. Never coming get from it. a different place here. 
right. you never install it. But it's already been installed. Why are you installing TikTok? I installed it like two years ago. What's wrong with you? Because I didn't know about this. Shame it was and disappointment. The, before it was released, app-wise, I talked about it. I was like, oh, I'll never install this. And then we had our mutual friends across the board. And it was like, oh, well, it's just another social media app. Like all our most, all our mutual friends at the time. It was just, TikTok's bad. It's, yeah. it's bad. No, it's fine. I, you know, it's honestly, fine. Just I install think TikTok all, all and social let them media collect all bad. your data. I mean, Facebook's allowing damn near all nudity now. Social media has a place. Has a place. We're yeah. still figuring out that place. Yes, the original intention was to keep in contact with people because we're moving into a more technical aspect of society that we need to still have that communication. That was the original intention. And it's definitely just slipped away. 